So what's, what stood out through um, your 12 practices of spring ball? What, what's been your biggest impressions in this new defense and your opportunities? Just the energy. I feel like overall energy has been great throughout these 12 practices. Just our playmakers making plays, and uh, I think we find out who our real leaders are. So. How do you fit in this defense, just in your thoughts of just how it maximizes your skill set? Sure. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm playing uh, the star position right now, but uh, I've just been open to whatever the coach staff has asked me to do. And, yeah. Is it just star so far for you? Yeah, just star right now. We just spoke with Coach Lorig and talked about the commitment to special teams and how some players are really embracing that. Mm -hmm. Have you kind of seen that, and how's that maybe been felt in practice? Uh, most definitely, because I, I feel like um, as a group, we don't feel like we was where we needed to be on special teams last year, so we've just been using that as a point of emphasis to get better every day. When you say you weren't where you need to be, what are kind of those areas, some of those areas that stand out? Sure, I say all phases, like not to single any one area out, but all phases, I just feel like we feel like as a team we can all get better at you, special teams. Why do you think that was last year? Um, I couldn't really uh, blame it on like just one particular thing. I just think like mindset as a team, like we just need to be serious on all uh, phases of the game, especially in one of those big areas. Uh, just your versatility, like how can playing like special teams help help that um, in the long run? I mean, just being on the field. If you're on the field, you can make plays, and special teams is another play. It give you opportunity to make plays. Do you, do you see the added emphasis of skill work in practice, the first five minutes of practice? Do you see that paying off already? Most definitely, like our daily skills uh, portion of practice in the beginning, it shows up in every special team period we've had so far. So. What are you hoping to see uh, either out of yourself or out of uh, this defense come spring game on Saturday? A lot of things, but uh, just making plays. Like like we've been doing these last 12 practices, everybody haven't been able to see it. But um, Saturday we just want to make plays, fly around on offense and defense because we got some really explosive guys on offense that a lot of people haven't seen. But feel me, we got a lot of stuff on defense a lot of people haven't seen too. So we're looking forward to that opportunity. So uh, some leaders have identified themselves this spring. Who are some of those guys on defense? Um, I say Noah Sewell, Bennett Williams, Charquez Bridges. Uh, there's a lot more guys I can name, but just not not being like appointed leaders, but actually actually, actually going out there to do something, to prove that you're a leader. So, yeah. Not sure how many one on ones you guys have been able to do with the wide receivers, but has there, there been a single wide receiver that kind of stood out to you more than others? Sure, I, I feel like all our guys are great, but I get the most work uh, in the slot with uh, Seven McGee and Chris Hudson, most definitely. Last week, Bennett was talking about how last season it felt like a competition between you and him for, for a spot. And this year, he says, you guys are still competing, but it just feels different. Just What's your your experience with that? Um, sure, I feel like we two older guys, like we, we know how to get each other better. Like we, it's going into what, our third year together. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We just know how to get each other better every day. That's really it. Well, you're one of those really disruptive players between particularly interceptions, certainly, but a lot of opportunities for you in the slot and stuff. When Coach Lanning's looking for a lot of havoc, I mean, like every defense coordinator is, but it, certainly it's a big part of what they do. It's how they had a lot of success in Georgia. Mm -hmm. How do you try to walk that line of getting what you want done, creating that havoc, getting those PBUs, those disruptive plays, and being that aggressive, but not, not going, I guess, too far to, to get burned on the other yeah. side? I feel like for me, um, my point of emphasis is just every practice. Like, I, I didn't ask my, uh, my coach, Coach Lord, just uh, be on me about it, just run into the ball. I feel like if you're around the ball, you can make plays. If you're not around the ball, you're not going to be able to make as many plays. So I feel like that's uh, been part of the reason we've been able to make a lot of habit plays this spring, really just emphasize and running to the ball as a defense. So, yeah. what, do you think of, what do you think of Tosh the boy so far as you know, his first time as a defensive coordinator at Oregon? Like, what are your first impressions of him and what do you like about him during practice? Man, I don't, I'm a big fan of Tosh. I've been a big, big fan of Tosh since. I was young because he actually coached uh, one of my cousins at Alabama. So I was just young, just seeing him, just seeing his energy and stuff like that. And then when I found out he was coming here, it was just it was crazy, like small world. But man, I, I, I love Tosh, bro. Like, I can't even say enough about Tosh, but I love Tosh. Who on the team have you built the most team chemistry with off the field? Or has it been a lot of guys or just been one specific guy you've been hanging out with the most? <clears throat> I say, I like this year, I just really emphasize uh, building that connection with all my teammates. Like. I feel like since I've been here, uh, 
it's kind of just been like my roommates or like people on defense and stuff like that. But I've been uh, reaching out, well, not reaching out, but just hanging with everybody. Like I, I hang with the linemen, I hang with the receivers, quarterbacks, anybody. Like just well, building that. So I live with um, Chaquez Bridges and Noah Whittington right now. So. Yeah. Well, we're hearing that Tosh opens up defensive meetings with shock callers. Mm -hmm. You guys are replacing Barone. Who's the shock caller right now in the secondary? Sure. If you ask me, I'm gonna say me, but you feel me? I'm pretty sure any well, other guys, will, yeah, <laughs> any other guys will say uh, the same thing, but we just they emphasize again to the ball. And when you get there, what you gonna do? You gonna make a play on it or not? So, yeah. in, in the spring, Kenny Dillingham's really been emphasizing ex explosive play, uh, you know, being up tempo. Mm -hmm. how, has been, how has going against that defense, sorry, that offense helped you grow as a defensive back? Number one, they get you in shape, most definitely, uh, that tempo. But just seeing he do a lot of, lot of, a lot of different unique stuff. Like uh, it's it's definitely a a mind game. Like you got to be able to play pre snap if you're gonna be successful against that offense. So, so I like it. And it's a you get, they're gonna make a lot of uh, people just look kind of silly this year. Is that yeah, the feeling? Yeah. If you if you ain't hold up, if you ain't know your P's and Q's, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a. Thanks, Jamal. Thanks, Jamal.